Samantha. And my name is Abby. Today is Friday, February 12th, and it's our 114th day of school. Sunday is Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day! Please stand and join me in saying the pledge, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Each and every day, we also say our TCE pledge to friends to do the right thing. Please repeat after me. I will do the right thing even if I don't feel like it. I will do the right thing even if I don't feel like it. I will treat people right even if I don't feel like it. I will treat people right even if I don't feel like Today it. Today I will remember. Today I will remember. My willpower is stronger. My willpower is stronger. Than how I feel or what I think. Than how I feel or what I think. All things are possible. All things are possible. Good news is headed my way. Good news is headed my way. We have a new lifeline this month. It is kindness. Kindness means to be helpful and caring. I show kindness by listening to my teachers when they are talking. How, How do you show kindness? kindness? Today for lunch we are having hot dog sandwich, baked beans, hot carrot, peaches, heart-shaped cookies, and milk. Mm. There is no there is no birthday being celebrated at TCE today or over the weekend. Aww. We will not come to school on Monday. It is not an e-learning day. We get the day off. Woo! <laughs> Today is Lifeline Day, Friday. Teachers, the link is in your email. Please stay tuned after announcements for another short videos about the mission to learn. <clears throat> Today we have a joke for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howard. Howard who? How do you like to be my Valentine? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching us on announcements. Now it's time for the Miller motto. Treat people right and do the right thing. You'll have peace. Also, stop the spread. Landing on Mars is known as the seven minutes of terror. A successful landing makes you want to celebrate. Touchdown confirmed. So touchdown. We have touchdown. Extra zone. But why exactly is getting to the red planet one of the toughest things in space travel? It's because the distance between Earth and Mars constantly changes because each one orbits the sun at different speeds and distances from around 401 million kilometers to more like 56 million. About every two years, the two planets are in the perfect position for us to get to Mars with the least amount of rocket fuel. Three, two, zero. But this journey still takes about seven months of cruising through space. If the launch goes well, and you make it to Mars without your spacecraft being damaged by solar flares or something else, you've then got this really tricky business of how to actually land on the red planet. The spacecraft will be traveling at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour, but then it's got to enter Mars' atmosphere at exactly the right angle. Too steep, and it'll melt and burn up. Too shallow, and it'll bounce off. The atmosphere on Mars is a hundred times thinner than it is on Earth. Parachutes and a heat shield are needed to slow the capsule down. Airbags and retro rockets, that's rockets that fire in the direction that you want to travel, are also used for a safe landing. The biggest spacecraft use jetpacks to hover above the planet and gently lower equipment to the surface on cables before disappearing off. Oh, and did I mention the surface? Cliffs, craters, caves, it's rocky. If you don't hit your landing site, there could be trouble. And even if you master all of that, you've got to keep your fingers crossed that all your scientific equipment has made it there in one piece. On the other hand, it is the planet that is most similar to Earth in our solar system. And if we go and study it, then we'll continue to learn more about it.